Welcome everyone to a very special episode where today I'm going to be bringing you guys a special little let's look at into a little mod that I discovered not too long ago called Divided We Stand. Now, Divided We Stand takes the basic concept of the Civil War where in 1861 the North and South were at each other's throats and they were trying to kill each other. For anyone who's not familiar with American history, that was a major turning point in our timeline where basically a bunch of um, states from this region mostly decided to try to break away from the uh, United States of A and it created this gigantic war that can we can still feel the after effects of today. But besides a quick history lesson, um, what Divide We Stand decides to do, the reason why I said that was Divide We Stand decides to do a um, special little thing where they say, you know what, instead of just the southern states broke away and create their own little federation of sorts, why don't we have every single state that's ever been known become liberal and become their own little empire. And right there, I love this concept. This concept right here is very fun to is very fun to see and let's just dive right into the mod, people. I'll skip this. Okay, and like with every single standard in Victoria 2 vanilla, you always must in 1861 start sorry. You must always start with the torching of the summer palace. <laughs> oh, the Chinese and the torching of the summer palace. Oh man, you guys are <laughs> feel so I feel so bad for you. So, but anyways, we're not talking about China today. We're gonna be talking about America and everything that entails America. So, basically, what this mod does is that this mod basically breaks this, breaks up the entire United States, all of Mexico, and a little bit of Canada into all these different regions where you can basically play as any kind of region you want, any kind of little country you want, and you know do things like for instance I am New Mexico so I get a little bit of cosmopolitan against you know Arizona, Deseret and Colorado and then you know you basically just go from there and it's a really really fun idea because basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to reform the Union or you're trying to reform the United States of A or maybe make your new little gigantic empire of Colorado I, I, I don't know if Coloradoans actually have a uh, affinity or a uh, idealistic night idealistic self to try to conquer the world I know Texans have the idealistic self to try to conquer the world but we'll get into that a little bit later oh quick mention right now if you have a problem if you're from one of these states that I'm gonna be mentioning right now I'm sorry I'm just these anything I say about your state is all in, supposed to be in joking manner you can you can joke around with me in my state of New Mexico okay and to give you guys some ammo you could say that we are a state just full of immig full of immigrants and all we do is like cook blue meth okay there we go so that no one else so no one else feels offended at this entire if anyone feels offended just yeah that's that's basically your guys's comeback to me in the comment section if you guys want to be so inclined all right let's get an alliance with the california republic first because they're really powerful and i could use them so california republic becomes my friend and now i'm going to get arizona in and we're going to declare war so let's see yep they're going to join in let's do this let's go kick those arizonians yeah kick those old people out okay so yeah basically what this mod does is like i just pointed out is it basically divides every single state and of course the mod maker okay i'll put it like this this mod is very new so the mod maker for what he has done has already done a great job but for me uh for me as a kind of new mexican person and a definitely historic person i would definitely want to see more and before I get into that, I should probably just get into the flat out things I kind of just do not like about this mod. Because there's a couple things I actually don't like about this mod. And then there's also a couple things I just think are just kind of things he can definitely improve on. Well, actually, all this, the person, he or she, it, because I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, so I'll call it it. The it, the developer, there we go. The developer, they'll be able to fix this because it's still a very early stages. But these are just some of the things I found that are very, you know, weird. One of the things I found very very annoying is the fact of the population now i don't know if you guys know this by the way i, I won't really be paying attention to this war because i'll just have california win it for me oh and i should probably declare war on, or declare war on desert when they have no allies let's see ah oh, california you won't join in really ah oh, that means i have to actually fight them shoot i don't want to fight utah uh, okay but one of the things i really do have a problem with is the population because Basically what the mod maker did was that he, to make every single state fun and able to play, is that he had to increase the population of every single state. So for instance, New Mexico, 
has a population of uh, 200k. And then Texas has a population of, you know, 1.7. You know, just all these kind of things. And I love this concept. I love the fact he actually gave every single state more population. My problem is with this is that when it comes into the... Uh, when it comes into account of the rest of the world, because this is a good example right here, New York, okay? New York is right now divided, okay? But if New York, the empire has 4.16 million people, and then New York, New York, the actual New York place has 4.3 million people. So granted, New York has a total of 8 million people in that one state altogether. By the way, I'm gonna increase pride because I love pride. Um, I'm pride. New Mexico, everyone. Yeah, we're the best. Oh, it seems like Durango's becoming the top power down here, so I'll become friends with them very soon. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, though, there's about 8 million people here in total. And that included, you have to think, you have to think of this in context. 8 million people, that is almost about the power of France. That is literally less than 2 million than the total empire of France. Okay, that is more people than the Prussian Empire at this point in time, and I believe it's more than the Australian Empire. Yes, if we were to include everything else that's more than the Austrian Empire combined, all of this together, all of this, all this region right here of very high population areas would not be more than the entire state of New York. And to me, I have a problem with that. I have a serious, serious problem with that because what it does is just basically makes every single state that's already OP like for instance Virginia is just OP as anything I mean they already get like a decent amount of industry in the beginning they get a decent amount of prestige and they can raise about 40 brigades in the beginning of the game so they're already pretty OP but then they're also very OP by European standards so once they unite all of America um you're basically looking like a, you're basically looking at a situation like China except vastly worse because we're America. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wow. They're, are they actually sieging me? No, oh, they're actually sieging me. Wow. They seized my, they seized my homeland, so that makes me kind of mad. Arizona, you don't do that. You don't do that, Arizona. Um, so, yeah, it kind of makes me very mad. kind of makes me mad that the mod maker didn't really, you know, take the time to, like, if you're going to increase the population of, like, these regions, which I'm fine with, also take the time to increase the populations of all these other places over here. Um, which, it would probably take a long, long time, but it would probably make the mod a little bit better balanced and make it a little bit, you know, more realistic. Because I have a very, I have a serious problem when, like, just New York by itself is, all, is bigger than most European states over here. Okay? Then, the other problem comes in more of a form of comes in more of a form of like just the fact that mods new but I think this one could be really easily fixed because I know the population ones would be not easily fixed because it's just like population is really hard to deal with in this game but this one they could probably he could probably fix very easily and that is the fact that they're besides for the amount of cores I get off of these people there's absolutely no other way for me to expand like once once I like conquer all four of these regions and become the four corners of the United States I basically have to do, I basically have to conquer everyone the old fashioned way by justifying a war and then doing a conquest cause of Belli, which a conquest cause of Belli costs you 22 infamy every single time. So for me to conquer, let's say, every single state in the union, somebody do the math here, 50, 50 times 22, alright, well let's see, 50 times like... No, no, it'd be a little bit less than that. It'd be like 22, 22 times 46 or something like that. For, let's say 45. 22 times 20 times 45, and that would be the total amount of infamy you could possibly get out of this. And most likely, you'll probably get it. Because this game is very unforgiving when it comes to conquest course. So, yeah. That kind of bugs me right there. Is that there's absolutely no way after you're done, you know, expanding all of this region, there's absolutely, or wherever your original conquest is, like, say if I'm Nebraska and I conquer all Montana and Dakota, where do I have to expand after that? Where do I go from there? Like, what do I do? Oh, and it looks like we're still fighting Arizona. What the heck? Alright, we should have been finished with this war by now. I mean, Arizona is not that hard of a state. By the way, I'm so going to declare war on Desiree. Can you please come in, California? No. California is totally angry at me for some reason. 
Uh, I don't know why, but I, I guess I guess they're mad that they don't have any gold right now. Mm, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, maybe they should go. If, if they're so worried about themselves, just go conquer the northern region and maybe go conquer Nevada. Oh wow, Nevada has a lot of cores on us. Okay, uh, let's conquer the rest of Arizona and then we'll be fine. All right, finish up as Arizona. Okay, Arizona, you guys are down. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And so, yeah, basically, basically, it's just that and the fact that I can't. Ex after you conquer your original regions, you can't expand. And honestly, you should be able to, because I mean, there should be just the, the way. Personally, the way I would try to fix, well, I think a good fix to this would be is just to add like a historical causes belly or in between states causes belly. Uh, Belay where it's like, because we have become a certain size and we believe our cause is righteous and just, you should become a part of our states, otherwise face war and death. You know, something of that magnitude to where like, after you conquer your original starting area, you can still branch out and do more things. Uh, another instance is like Texas. Where do you go from Texas? Especially if you want to make Texas like, TEXAS! Like, make Texas is all this. All this Texas. This is all Texas land. Uh, where do you go from here? Like, seriously, where, where do you go from here? And, yeah, a lot of people could say that you could... I'm just going to sign it anyways. I'm not really doing full maintenance anyways. Speaking of which, I should probably have fixed my economy, but I wasn't really paying attention because I wanted to do this mod. But let's fix our economy for a second. And let's go after Deseret because I want to... Will you join in now, California? Oh, my goodness. Do I have to increase relationships with you? Probably, because you guys are being all, like, angry. So, yeah. There's just that. So, maybe just a historical CB of some sorts, and, to, you know, after you're done expanding out of the original area to do more stuff. Then I also hope, the other thing I kind of also hope, because these are more, this is not me trying to bash on the game anymore. These are more kind of just things that the mod maker should do to, like, improve the game, is also have more creatable nations. Because right now, as New Mexico, and I'm not going to focus in, uh, or anywhere over here, there aren't that many, like, creatable nations. I mean, if you're on the East Coast, you have New England to create, and then you also have, like, the old federal states to create, but for New Mexico here, I would love to create, like, the Southwestern United States, or the, e or the Western Republic, or something like that. But the only options I get are pretty stupid, may I add. It's... Form the Federal States of America. Okay, what do I need to form the Federal States of America? Well, basically, I to form the Federal States of America, I would basically have to own, like, basically, basically to form the Federal States. Um, how, how do I put this? Basically, to form the Federal States of America, you're basically going to have to be, like, the Old Dominion and conquer, like, all of this region to become the Federal States. They don't actually mean, oh, I'm going to have to become a great power, and then I'm going to have to spear every single one of these little guys to become the federal states, and that still means I have to go over here. And which, for me, I'm not really, as a New Mexican, you know, as somebody from the Southwest, I don't really care about forming the, the United States, well, the federal states of America. I do care about forming the United States, because that's the ultimate goal, but to form the federal states, I just don't really care. And then the other event I can also form is also the New England, which is like, what relevance does New Mexico have to New England? I I mean, what 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 do we care over here? The desert dwellers care about those like. Oh man, I was gonna make a really bad joke there. So, but I'll I'll, I'll reframe myself. I'll reframe myself. So yeah, it's just something of that nature. Um, just things that they that's just things that they can definitely improve on. Is definitely add more like creatable nations. You know, once you. Definitely once you expand out of your region, you can also create more nations because I thought, you know, as New Mexico, I'd be able to create, like, the Western States of America, but there's absolutely no event for that or no, like, guidelines for me to create that. You know, I originally thought, you know, once I unite all of the four corner regions, I could become it. Apparently, that's not how you become it. So, you know, I've honestly thought that the best way to do it is this way, you know, just become the, you know, civilized nation and you just get all the cores instantly. Which, you know, might be the quickest way to do it. Uh, it's sad for me to say, but it might be the quickest way to do it is just to release the nation and then just replay it. But I, personally, I don't want to do that. I don't want to use some kind of cheeky tactic. I actually want to create this nation. So, just for the developer, you know, just develop more events for that. 
for that event and develop more stuff so that we can create more nations. Maybe an eastern, you know, like I said, maybe a, a western Mississippi, everything western Mississippi can be created into something, you know, maybe like um, the northeastern or the southwestern, just more, just more. That's all I'm asking for, just more. And then the other problem is, the other thing I think should also be suggested is also have a little bit more flavor in terms of like what people can also conquer. Not just, not just like, you know, after they're all done, you know, after they're done just conquering all the starting regions, but just more stuff they could conquer. Like for instance, I'll go back to Texas, because Texas is a good example for everything. Texas should be able to claim this side, because if we're going by... But going by what the mod makers said and that they are, you know, breaking up and, you know, trying to reclaim the old lands. Because that's what, that's what Virginia is doing. It's trying to claim all of its old lands. But if we're going to go by that, then Texas, Texas should have a claim on, like, all the way up into Colorado. Like, it should have claims, like, all the way up into here. Because historically, that's what Texas did. They used to own, like, all of this. Like, literally all this. And maybe they have a little bit more cores on Chittacawa. And just all of this right here. This is what this is what Texas's goal should be. And then once they conquer that, have another goal of like unite to become the mighty nation of the Texania. I, I don't know. I, I don't know any good names, but just something like that. Another example of this would also be Louisiana. You know, Louisiana. I would expect. Why do you call it Louisiana? It's Louis. That that's kind of weird. There. That's it should be Louisiana, not not Louisiana. Louisiana sounds stupid. It's Louisiana. So, just a little typo there, but anyways, should I should not draw I should not draw too much attention to typos because I have so many typos in my videos. But anyways, for Louisiana, because they were the original, they are the original part. Um, a little bit more of New, a little bit more of U.S. history for anyone that you know doesn't know it very well. Basically, when we back in like 1803, we basically United States was only about this size. Well, actually, about this size because we didn't hold Florida yet. We're only about this size, and Jefferson, basically, our president at the time, basically went in and uh, did a deal with Napoleon and bought all of this land, because Napoleon needed land at that point to fight all his various wars over here in Europe. And coming from that, you would think that Louisiana would get cores on, like, all of this. All of this. But it doesn't. It doesn't even get one core on anything, which I thought was insanely weird. Um... And so, yeah, just these are just quick examples of just things where I think the mod maker, like I said, these aren't really criticisms. These are more just suggestions that help make the mod better and more flavorful, especially for people who lived and have studied these different regions of the world. You know, it'll just make it more and more like more flavorful, more impactful, and you know, maybe just make more fun in general, just more fun in general. Because as Louisiana, if you want to try to form and become like the new. You know, try to become the Louisiana Union or the we Louisiana. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know many good names for Louisiana, but you know, just try to do something. You know, there's really not much you can really do. You're basically boxed in here, and you can't really do anything unless you do Casas Belli completely conquest wars. Which after a while, those get pretty stupid. And I guess you could do like um, make puppets, but that's still ten infamy, and that's still gonna be at least. At maximum 100k and it's dealing with the rebels would probably be just difficult annoying and yeah so I think I've said all I need to say about this mod and let me just get this point out here right now is that I still like this mod okay don't get me wrong I still love this mod I still love what it's attempting to do and I still love the fact it did a pretty good job of what it already has I mean this mod has been on the market for a very short amount of time and I already do love what the person's doing these are just helpful suggestions to help make the mod even better, so. And I also wanted to bring, this is also a chance for me to bring this mod to light to all of you guys, because I know a lot of you guys play Victoria 2, and predominantly my demographic is usually of US of origin, so to you guys, this is going to be a very interesting mod for you. And so, also for people who live in Mexico and Canada, although Canada, I couldn't give you very much historical context of all this. Because I'm not very well versed in it. Like, I know the Mentis Confederacy is some type of Native American group, but I'm not sure exactly the history they have with, with uh, Canada. Or, I should say, what the history of, like, all, like, Durango has, or, like, Rio Grande, or Chitikawa, or, like, Hidalgo. 
think it's Hildalgo. You know, I could kind of get to Yucatan Republic because I know that used to be Maya, but <laughs> that's just kind of basic knowledge over here. So, yeah, I think I'm about done with talking about this mod. I think I've said all I need to say. Seems like, what became my capital? Phoenix? What? No! It's all about them Albuquerque. We don't care about Phoenix over here. We should be Albuquerque. Ah, uh, stupid. Stupid game. So, anyways, guys. This is my quick look at this mod. And, like I said, this is... I, can't, I have to keep pointing this out to you guys. Because I don't want you guys to think that, oh, this mod's terrible. It didn't do this, this, and that. It's still very much in, it's still very much in like, pre-alpha state. If we were, like, doing, like, game development type of things. It's very much in pre-alpha. But, for what it has already... It's very well done. So, I think that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the future. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Texas.